Okay, what is going on everyone? This is Rossi and welcome to a little clubs talk I'm going to be talking about. I want to talk about the stuff that I want to see in FIFA 13 clubs and unfortunately FIFA 12 clubs hasn't been the same for me. So first question I'm going to ask you guys, do you enjoy FIFA 12 clubs? Just leave a comment saying yes or no to see what responses we can get. If you guys are saying no, then I'm sure you guys will share the same opinions as what I'm about to share, so just hold tight for that. First off, I think there should be a preference search. For example, if you are being any, you should be playing people who are also being any. You know, I come across teams with no any goalkeepers and stuff, and that's just not the type of people I want to play. You know, you should be playing exactly the type of people you're playing, if you know what I'm saying. So, if I'm any and a friend of mine's a striker, that's what we should be looking for in the search engine. Um, another person who's any and someone who's a striker. Now, the reason is for this is because I do not want to play against goalkeepers and not any's and stuff. It's a lot harder when you're any as well. So, you know, I think that'll maybe even it out in a little bit. Also, think about this. What do you think about the rest of the players on the pitch who you control with any, not your virtual pros? What do you make of them actually being nearly as good as your virtual pros? You know, they keep up with you. They're stronger than you. The only thing that you got better are better shots and obviously five-star skill if you're a five-star skiller. You know, this, for me, I really don't understand. You know, virtual pros, you're going to be building them up and making them fantastic, making them quick, making them strong and stuff. But it just seems to be that, you know, you can't, you know, wear up the difference. They're pretty much similar. So that's another thing I'm quite annoyed about. Here's another fantastic suggestion of what they should be doing in FIFA 13. For example, when you play a game and win games, you win. You should earn some sort of like coins or points maybe. And what you should be able to do with them coins is upgrade your stadium, upgrade your players and stuff. You know, not your virtual pros, the other players. You should be allowed to upgrade them, I think. So um, yeah, if they are as good as your virtual pro, then then it's understandable because you've earned the right to have them as good as your virtual pro. But I don't think initially they should be as good. You know, I think there should be some sort of like. Uh, weighing it up and making them, you know, making them good. I think that'd be really good for a club. You know, they can work towards something. They can have goals and aims and stuff to work towards something for the club. And you know, obviously make the standards of clubs probably a lot better. Maybe one thing I can credit with FIFA 12 clubs is that you cannot see the virtual pro rating before you go into the game. That is fantastic. You know, it does stop a lot of people backing out. But it seems to be a lot of people still backing out. So if we can make some sort of system meaning that players can't really back out unless it's like urgent or something. Um, I think that would be quality because there's a lot of people, especially if you're doing 11v11, you know, you're going to be searching forever. But if people keep backing out, you're going to take forever just trying to find a game, basically. So, you know, that's always uh, a negative to that, but I'm sure there's positives to that as well. Forgot to mention, what you guys are seeing in the background is club's gameplay, and you do see a lot of bull crap in this game, you know, a lot of stuff that you just can't believe are happening, so check out for that. This is what I'm on about with FIFA 12 clubs, some dodgy stuff really does go on, but two of the main su suggestions was, um, obviously, virtual pros make them a lot better than other players, you know, it seems to be a case of they're nearly just as good. If you're going to make it so they can be just as good, you should earn the right to have your players, you know, as good, so earn some sort of coins or points or something. If you guys have got any suggestions, leave some comments. I might may make a second video on what the community think of it. That would always be helpful. So leave some comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, guys. There's, you know, dodgy gameplay in the background. A few good points for FIFA 13, I think, in my opinion. Uh, Twitter link's in the description, guys. This is Rossi, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.